I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions from previous test paper on vectors. Here is question number 5. The question here is determine the vector, parametric and symmetric equations of the line going through the points P 1 2 3 and Q minus 1 2 3. So we are given two points we need to find equation of the line in different forms. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my video. Well, we are given the point P, which is 1, 2, 3. Q is minus 1, 2, 6. We can find the direction between the two, uh, PQ, right? So PQ will be, will be minus 1, minus 1, 2 minus 2, right? 2 minus 2, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3 which is minus 2, 0, 3, right? So that becomes the direction vector PQ. Now, you know the direction vector PQ, and then you also know these points, so you can always write vector equation and all other forms. So let's write these equations on the right side. So let's first begin by writing the vector equation of the line. Let's say the line R is equals to you can select one of these points let's select, select p which is one two three plus the parameter t and the direction minus two zero three where t belongs to real numbers right so that represents the line vector equation now to write the parametric equation we just need to rearrange it so x component here is equals to one plus minus 2t right so let me write this as minus 2t y component is 2 0 times anything is 0 so that's okay and z equals to 3 uh, 3t right so plus 3t 3t so these set of equations these set of equations form the parametric equation so this is parametric And that is vector equation. Okay, vector vector. Right. Now we need to write the symmetric equation. How do we get that? To find the symmetric equation, we just need to isolate t and equate it. So from the first equation, x equals to 1 minus 2t, I could write this as, as uh, bringing 2t to the left side. Say so 2t equals to minus or we can say uh, you can say minus x plus 1 okay now t will be equals to uh, you can write this as uh, minus x plus 1 divided by 2 right so you could write like this a better way of course is to keep x as always positive and then what we can do here is that we can make that negative correct so we could write rewrite this as x minus 1 divided by minus 2 right I hope these steps are clear right so that is how you get the value of t y is equals to 2 always that means the direction in this is is 0 and as far as uh, z is concerned uh, let me rewrite this also so what we get here is 3t equals to z minus 3 or t equals to z minus 3 divided by 3. Do you see that? Now all these t should be exactly same and that gives you the symmetric equation, right? Now I'll write down the symmetric equation on the left side this time. Uh, I only prefer to provide all the solution in just small piece of paper, just half of the page. So you could write this equation now as x minus 1 over minus 2 equals to z minus 3 over 3 comma y is all, always equals to 2. So that becomes the symmetric equation for the given line, right? So I hope the concept is clear to you and that is how we can provide equation of a line given two points in different forms. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share, subscribe your videos and feel free to post questions and suggestions. Thank you and all the best.